How many million views have you generated with your channel? My channel's got over 250 million views. I believe we're coming close to 30 million. Yeah, this year's like the first year we've really scaled, so probably 20 million. Uh, in total, over 70 million right now. On this video, I will be interviewing YouTubers with more than 400 million views generated. So if you already have a channel or you don't know how to start, this is the best place to go because you will get all the obstacles, insights, and actionable tips that different YouTubers have used for growing different channels and monetize in the process. So let's just start with the interview. How many videos do you have and how many views have you generated? We basically have four videos up and we just hit a thousand subscribers. So we're already at 1,250, but a couple days ago we hit a thousand subscribers in under 30 days. So in total, the views on that are around like 30, 40,000, but people subscribe because it's something that they've never seen before. It's like a new type of information being shared. Yeah, no, and I think that the best way to grow on YouTube is the package and when you have your own formula i think that you can grow another's channels too in terms of your niche what do you think that is the best advice to creators on your niche i would say the best advice is just put out new information and everything in your video should be like one percent that's something that i see a lot of people like fail on is that they think that they, if they're doing one thing right they can neglect the other things so let's say they have like a great title and thumbnail and they, their editing is just kind of average or they have like great editing but their title and thumbnail are just aren't that great i think you need to be like one percent across the board so you need to be one percent titles one percent thumbnails one percent one percent editing one percent script writing you need to be one percent in every single aspect of youtube if you want to be a top initially i tried to make this interview on Discord, but to be honest, the quality wasn't the best. So I decided to make a huge change and I tried Riverside, who is a sponsor in this video. Riverside is the best place to go if you want to make interviews for your channel and also if, like me, you need to take a lot of calls on a day to day basis. Sometimes I have problems with my Wi Fi and Riverside solved this easy on the easy way because they take the files from your phone or your computer and they upload it to the platform. So if you really care about the quality of your interviews or your calls, you need to try Riverside. It takes the game to the next level for us content creators, and that's not all. With Riverside, you can have as many meetings as you want totally free. Riverside have some amazing features that make the entire process easier when we are creating content. Once my interview is finished, I receive an instant transcription with 99% of a course, and then I can edit that interview directly on the platform with the text-based edit, streaming the necessary parts with one click. Also, if you edit videos as I do, you can start using Riverside for your edits, because they have incredible AI tools that make the process easier for us video editors. Another cool feature is that you can upload videos not recorded on Riverside and that with the magic clips I can let the AI to identify the best clips on the medium, which makes the process easier if you want to scale your long form content into short form content because Riverside will identify these clips and it gives you the opportunity to put captions, different backgrounds and it will be ready to post in other social media platforms. And the best part is that you can get all these features in the free version. Riverside also offers different plans, but I think that with the free version is enough. I personally use the pro version, which is $25 every month. But if you don't want to spend money and you want to upgrade your quality, with the standard version, you can do it. And with the code Mauricio Mosa, you can get a 15% discount in all your subscriptions. On the first link on the description, check it out. What do you think that is the best advice that you can give to someone who is thinking on the starting on YouTube. The one thing that you need to do is separate yourself from everyone else. This is something that I don't hear a lot of people talking about, but right now everybody is copying like the big finance creators, right? They're copying like Iman Gaji, Alex Hormozzi. They're copying the big guys, but what no one is doing is just creating their own unique style. Everybody's taking that style of editing. And that's something that, you know, you've done really well. You have a very unique style of editing. I've, I've never seen that before. I think that's the number one way to grow on YouTube fast is like get some people to design you like a completely new style that nobody's ever seen before that has to do with like you know editing style talking style filming style set design fonts colors thumbnail design you need everything to be like unique to you my channel is amplify views you can go learn about youtube for completely free on there there's no paywalls or anything you can just get all the information for free instagram is just lyndon chastin twitter is lyndon chastin and yeah you can reach out to me there what is the kind of documentaries are you doing on your channel 
so I basically make sort of mini documentaries. They are usually all over the place, but I like to go more for content creators, streamers, YouTubers. I like to make sort of list videos. For example, what happened to Mr. Beast giveaway winners or some top Mr. Beast moments. Yeah, for sure. And I know that in your beginning, your channel was soaring. You were getting no views. What you did for getting more views and what is your best advice for beginners on the space? I don't know if any people know this, but I started actually making Fortnite gameplay videos. I actually got my subscriber base thanks to that. But at one point, Fortnite, of course, died out. My whole livelihood was based on Fortnite. So I had to make a switch. Otherwise, I had to go into a nine to five job, which I didn't want to do. What I did was market research. I really searched outside of my niche what was working. And at that time, Sunny V2 was, of course, on the rise, making documentaries, going viral with it. So I researched my competition in the Fortnite niche, saw that only two channels uploaded uh, Fortnite documentaries. One of the channels actually deleted all of the documentaries and one uploaded them very inconsistently. So I saw a market gap and the first Fortnite documentary I ever uploaded actually got over 600,000 views after getting only 20,000 views on my gameplay videos for over a week. So at that point, I knew that I had something going. What is your advice to beginners that want to star on YouTube? Yeah, because, you know, it's so incredibly easy. Most of you probably watch basketball or football or you have this passion or this interest you watch and research every single day so you have this knowledge you have this advantage over others because you have this knowledge that other people might not have and if you simply use this knowledge buy a cheap microphone a Rode NT-USB is like $140 it's the best value for money if you buy one of those you can do everything yourself thumbnails titles editing script writing just make videos learn from them use your knowledge about the subject to make the documentary and at that point it's it's really easy because you don't even have to use a lot of fancy effects in that in the editing software because all you have to do is is good storytelling music that supports that storytelling so it's it's a nice coherent story and after that all you have to do is add some context in screenshots some transitions i see most people already blowing up with this style of uh, documentaries yeah so lander have a community they talk about video ideas and they teach you how to build your channel from zero so can you tell us more about your community because i would like to bring people here yeah so uh, me and my partner Leroy Terbrak is a strategist have started ideation class and this community is like an exclusive one where we talk about ideation thumbnails titles we give 24 7 feedback to people try to elevate people their packaging perfect so go and follow Justin Gold go and follow Lander and enjoy of all his knowledge what do you think is the best advice for a person who is trying to start a new channel experiment in the beginning i know i just kind of contradicted that experiment in the beginning do whatever you want to make have fun making it but as soon as one thing hits try and do whatever you can in your power to recreate it exactly yeah and your niche is horror documentaries do you recommend people create channels on this niche so i think it all depends on what your hobbies are i would say it's important to at least enjoy somewhat of what you're talking about i used to make gaming content and i hated that which made making videos just such a chore and switching to this content now is way more enjoyable so if you like horror i i totally recommend the niche there's always new videos coming out between tiktok and even on youtube itself there's it seems like an infinite stream of material that you can talk yeah, sure. And in your transition between gaming to horror, how the algorithm works with you when you do this? Terrible. Terrible. My first video that blew up was about video games and a bunch of videos after that were the same and they did relatively well. And I always kind of wanted to get out of it. I started to jump into true crime horror and those videos basically flop. They're still on my channel and they're some of the lowest performing videos to this day. Yeah, that definitely has hurt me throughout my time. My core audience being gaming, they weren't as interested in my uh, new genre, but I kept on doing it and eventually your, all, your old audience fades away and a new one comes in. So it takes time and it hurts in the beginning, but this there's always room to change. Yeah, no, for sure. And in terms of money, is YouTube your main source of, of income? With these new videos, how much money have you generated? Because your niche, I think that this, there's a problem with the RPN. If you would account just this month alone, if I were to repeat this month for all 12 months in a year, it's probably in, it's, it's definitely in the six figure range. It's definitely enough to get by well off on. The issue is maintaining it. Like I said, this is the first month that I've seen a 
a good amount coming in in a month. So I don't know how long it's going to stick around. I don't know if it's maintainable, but it has been my sole income for probably the past two years now. Yeah, for sure. Here's Pixels After Dark. If you're interested in the horror terror niche, go and check his channel because the content is top notch. Thank you so much. Yeah, so here we are, Oscar. Thanks for being on this meeting. Can you tell me more about your YouTube career and how much views have you generated? Of course. So my name is Oscar Owen. I'm a YouTuber, full-time YouTuber. My channel's got over 250 million views and 1 million subscribers. What is your content and how do you plan to scale this into the future? 100%. So my channel teaches magic tricks. So if you're someone who wants to learn magic and really get into the art form of sleight of hand, then that's exactly what my channel teaches. So I provide simple, easy to do magic tricks on my channel um, in terms of scaling it uh the, in terms of scaling the business in the future in terms of views and subscribers it's all about not just making more videos but making higher quality videos and the best way to do that is to outsource parts of the youtube content journey that other people can do so i can just focus on making the best videos possible so one of the things that i do is outsource video editing so video editors can edit my videos a lot better than me and make just the quality of my videos that much higher um in terms of scaling it in terms of uh money and profit for me it's about launching courses that my audience actually wants to buy so what i do is with my uh, fans of my channel i ask them what they want to see my, maybe it's card tricks coin tricks reading people's minds and I use my community to create courses that they actually want to buy so that when I eventually get to selling them, I know that there's a demand for the product that I'm selling. So that's how I scale it in terms of finances. But together, um, yeah, scaling it in terms of money and tech scaling it in terms of views are two things that I try and do together to really blow up the channel and build. I guess successful channel teaches magic tricks. I'm actually moving into the realm of teaching people how to start up their own YouTube channels and really turn it into a part-time or full-time career. Um, so the biggest advice I'd give to new people starting YouTube is don't try and seek perfection from the very beginning. And what I mean by that is a lot of people, they we live in a culture where you, you see Mr. Beast on YouTube, or you see MKBHD or Ali Abdal, and they have these perfect videos and new YouTubers see that and they go, wow, if I wanna, if I wanna compete with these guys, I've gotta make videos that are just as good. And that is true in many ways. If you want to compete with, you know, Iman Gatsi, let's say, you've probably got to make videos that are as good as his, if not better. That's the only way you can compete in a market. But when you're just starting off on YouTube, you shouldn't be chasing subscribers. You shouldn't be chasing views. You should just understand the craft of making YouTube videos. That's what your first 10 to 15 videos should be about. So understand how to light your video properly, how to film your video properly, how to speak to the camera like I'm doing right now. And you really shouldn't be thinking about subscribers and views. You just need to understand the craft of actually making YouTube videos. And then once you've made your first 10 to 15 videos and you actually go, hey, I, I think this is for me. I'm really enjoying it. What That's the point at which you go, okay, now let's become really good at making YouTube and start narrowing down and making the best videos possible. So that might be when you outsource your video editing um, like we're doing together because I know you and your team have an absolutely exceptional video editing service. But I only started outsourcing my videos once I'd made 10 to 15 videos and really understood the process of making videos on this new channel, if that makes sense. So that's my biggest biggest bit of advice to new YouTubers is first 10 to 15 videos, don't try and seek perfection, just try and understand the craft of YouTube itself.